Hello Pisces, welcome to your energies reading for June 2022. This is a general reading, so it can be applicable to your career, to your love life, whatever it you think that is resonating better, okay? So today we are using the Vice Versa Tarot deck. If needed, we we're going to clarify with the Witch's Tarot from Ellen Duggan. And I also have a very cute deck here from Nikol Feltovich, which is the Fairy Tale Oracle deck. I will talk about it in the end because I really like this deck. So, Pisces. I have a very important reading here for you. Not because I have a lot of a lot of uh, major arcanas, because I don't, but it's very very significant. So as you know, the vice versa tarot deck is uh, a deck that has two sides. So you have uh, two different meanings. Of course, if you read reversals, you have three <laughs> different meanings. I don't so. We will only be working with the um, front and back of the cards, okay? So where are you right now, Pisces? You have the back of the Three of Cups. You know, the Three of Cups is when you are celebrating with other people and the back of the Three of Cups, of Cups card is when you are actually thanking... Um, the universe for everything that you have been granted up to now, you're making your reach, or you're just thanking God in general for everything that uh, has been going on in your life. So you're taking that moment to think about everything that you have and you're thanking the universe. You're feeling thankful. Uh, the potential and or the challenges for the situation, you have the front of the four of wands uh, and this is very much tied with the first card because in this deck the four of cups you are celebrating everything that you have accomplished you know a lot of times we don't take time to thank the universe for the good things that we have we only focus on the negative and keep complaining about it and also, when we are, uh, you know, in the daily hustle, we forget that in the meantime, even if the biggest goal hasn't been reached yet, we have small goals that in our daily life help us to see the bigger picture and to arrive the bigger to the bigger goal. And we are not being celebrative about it, right? So this means that you are now thanking the universe and the potential and the challenge here is also you need to understand that you need to celebrate yourself, to celebrate your daily little victories that you have in your life, right? So remember to see the little things that happen every day and to celebrate life in every little inch of it, okay? So basically the, the, the initial message here is not to be negative, it's to be thankful and to be positive and to celebrate okay um uh, what the universe wants you to focus on in this very moment and you have the seven of wands this means in this deck and in this position that you need to set some situations straight Pisces. you did something or you saw something and you need to set the record straight. You need to make things right. So this is the focus of this situation that you're living right now, right? This does not mean that you're being sneaky. It can, but it doesn't mean in its totality. As you have these two cards here in the beginning, I may also understand that maybe you're being sneaky with yourself and you need to see things for what they are and not fool yourself right so set the record straight with other people or yourself this is the focus that the universe wants you to take in this beginning of the month in this situation 
In the recent past, you have the back of the four of pentacles, meaning that in the recent past, you were maybe uh, thinking about how much <laughs> you've been thinking about your a hustle, your money, uh, your material life, your material things, or you had to deal with all of these activities around your work, around your money, around material things, and you are a, a little bit tired of it, right? You want to, from now on, once you laid the solid foundation to your economic or material life, you want to go higher, to go further. You want to have the possibility to think about your spiritual life uh, or maybe rest or um, go out and have some fun or be more spiritual. So you are a little bit tired of just thinking about, you know, material things and money matters and you want to move forward with a different uh, different activities or a different, um, how can I also say, it? A, a different uh, mindset, okay? What are your strengths in this situation? You have, uh, and this is the back, yes, this is the back of the Nine of Wands. So the back of the Nine of Wands, what do you see? The Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior and here he is going into the cave, right? Because he needs to um, surrender to his primal need of uh, rest, of um, healing, he has been wounded and now he needs to surrender to the, that moment alone so he can rebuild himself. So this is your strength in this situation right here. You understand? And this is very, very... This this reading for me is so connected. I mean, you we're going to go through it and you see. But, you know, this was all connected and this... It's another very important connection. So you were so tired of just thinking about material stuff and money and making money and work. And you know that your strength is that you understood. You need to now recharge yourself so you can go a step up, ascend and think about what's coming next. And what is even more connected is the next card in your near future. You have the back of the five of... Uh, Five of Swords. So, in your near future, Pisces, you have to decide if you want to uh, turn around, leave the present situation and go to fight another battle, or if you want to assess the situation, understand everything that you have put into this, this battle in this present moment and keep fighting this battle and not moving on. So, basically, you have to you, you will have to access in the near future if you want to keep investing or fighting this battle or if you are uh, throwing everything that you have already uh, put into the situation and you're moving on to another one and fighting another completely different battle, okay? What is the approach that the universe wants you to have towards the situation is the hanged man. So try to see things from a different perspective, Right? This can also mean that you need to put yourself in other people's perspective. I mean, walking in other people's shoes. If other people are um, uh, tied to their situation. If this is something that you're living because up to now, this is very uh, individualist. This is personal. I see this being um, all in regard to yourself not um, something of a group or, or a partnership or anything. I see you right here, right now. Um, so this is, as the hangman is, is all alone, right? He's not here in this in this back position where are other people involved. So I think that the universe is really telling you, try to find another point of view. You are being inflexible right now. So try to change your mindset, your, your vision of the situation. What the universe wants you to know about the situation, Pisces, and you have the back, no, the front, I'm sorry, 
um, of the Ten of Wands, meaning that you need to delegate. You've been taking upon yourself too much, okay? And you need to understand to delegate in order to unload a little bit um, your back here, okay? The, the amount of work that you are doing in this situation. In the hopes and fears, you have the back of the devil card. Uh, let me think about this for a while. Okay, so the devil is taking a break. So you hope that you can take a break of some situation that is really like obsessive to you or you are, you are hoping to take a break of your obsession or you, your, your fear, um, your fear that this, if you, if you take a break, you will not have the same result because you need to obsess about some result, something that is that you have to to control or you have to have success on it. Okay, but it's just hopes and fears. So we we have to take this this position and this card always with a grain of salt. This is just to tell you to get out of your head, right? Um, in a situation, is always best when you let go of a. Uh, the expectation so you can work better in the energy of action other than you know trying to control the outcome but this is only an information for you okay in the outcome we have uh we have the external side of the five of pentacles so this is telling you as the outcome price is very very important it doesn't matter what are the mistakes that brought you to this difficult situation okay now it's not the time for you to throw a pity party, okay? Now it's the time for you to assess what happened, understand the lesson, get up and go for it, okay? Especially because in the bottom of the deck you have uh, the lovers. So what's on your mind is making the right choice for a bright future. Or if this is love, to choose the right person, right? If all of this was uh, you having a difficult with love, somebody left you and you're refining, trying to find your the, the way back to you, right? Because you was you feel left out in the cold or you were left out in the cold. What's on your mind at this moment is make the right choice. Uh, identify your true uh, love so you can have the perfect union. Okay, up to this point, Pisces, I really don't need, I don't feel the need to clarify anything. Maybe we can have a little bit more of an understanding. What is this sneaky situation that you need to sit uh, straight here? What is the Seven of Swords here to Pisces? What is the Seven of Swords? We have two cards, so let's see. Oh, Ace of Pentacles and King of Wands. So, something regarding an, a, a new beginning with a husband, uh, sorry, with, uh, with passion. So, a new beginning with a passionate um, masculine energy. Or you are you 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 need to understand why you didn't have someone sneaked on you on a new beginning. With someone maybe promised you passion and action and you know um, things coming true, and it was a sneaky a sneaky new beginning. So. I don't know what's your situation. Please comment down below if you have some clarifying comments for me, okay? So now let's get some more advice with the Fairy Tale Oracle deck from Nicole Feltovich. This is a very beautiful deck. I love it. These are actually paintings from Nicole. And let me see if I'm not saying... Yes, yes. It's not saying that I have any other artist. So this is her these are her paintings 
for a moment I had like a doubt here. So actually it all started when I downloaded this app in my phone and I loved it so much, I loved the messages so much that I started like googling to see if I would find actually the deck and I found that Nicole has an Etsy shop and she doesn't usually um, ship it to Europe only because she's American I think she's American, she's based in, in the US, so I asked her to like make a calculation of the price for the international shipping. She did that, she sent me, she was also very kind to um, give me this uh, Chakra um, Oracle deck as a gift. And if you like the deck, I mean you can download the app to see if you like the deck. And she has an Etsy shop, so I have also an... Um, Website here is sacredmysteryarts.com. So Nicole Feltovich. I really love this deck, so I'm gonna I'm going to start to using them in my reading. So let's see what are the additional messages for you. We want one card, but if the universe like let everything fall on the table, we're gonna get it, Pisces. Okay, so we have the magic wand and maleficent. So Let's see the magic wand. You are in the process of a metamorphosis. The magic wand is shown here as the powerful symbol of the Caduceus. It shows up in a watery dreamlike realm. It almost resembles a dragonfly. Dragonflies live in and near the two elements of water and air. Water represents emotions and air represents thoughts. The blue serpents slithering up the wand are the symbols of healing. They move upward in an electric dance, activating the energy centers. The top is crowned with a butterfly, a symbol of transformation and joy. Your thoughts and emotions are transforming. You see behind illusions. Your emotional triggers to certain events won't have the same power over you. When the door of perception are cleared, things will appear as they really are. You are in the process of transforming your world. Mm. And let's see, Maleficent, create strong boundaries. So here we have Maleficent portrayed in the form of a dragon. In fairy tales and myths, dragons are the guardians of treasures. In the story of Sleeping Beauty, the prince must go through the thick bushes and thorns to get to Aurora. But first, he must defeat the dragon. Many tried before and failed. Only true love is allowed to penetrate the boundaries that surround the princess. Having strong boundaries helps us to feel safe. Unfortunately, not everyone comes to us with our best interests in mind. Some might be mean-spirited, some just thoughtless or careless. Either way, it is important to protect what is sacred to us. Don't be afraid to say no. Great, Pisces. So this is what I have for you in the beginning of June. As always, I thank you very much for sharing your time with me. I wish you a wonderful beginning of the month. Take care out there and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.